Hello there, everyone. How you doing today? I hope you're all well. Today we're beginning our investigation into the back rooms. We are starting on level 82, Corrupting Heat. The survival difficulty class is Class Dead Zone. There are numerous hazards. It's strictly uninhabitable, and there is a presence of lethal entities. Hmm. Level 82 appears to be a void, and has been described as a spectrum of greys fused with gradients of darkness. A black archipelago can be seen drifting throughout the black expanse, and are believed to be the only landforms on this level. These islands have a strong gravitational attraction, though the reason for this remains unknown. The island you spawn on in level 82 is the island you'll be stuck on until you discover an escape, since the gravity is so strong that you won't be able to get off of it. If you're lucky, your spawn place will be on one of the larger islands where finding an exit will be easy. But if you spawn on a smaller island, reaching an exit will be more difficult. Three black spheres are said to float in the sky on this level, resembling a cluster of growing stars. The heat produced by these stars will gradually warm the level to the melting point of iron, which is around 5,000 degrees, by the way. I wouldn't want to be in that kind of temperature over the course of three days, but you most likely will die of heat stroke long before it reaches that point. Only a few entities are able to exist on this level, but it doesn't make them any less strange. False Heavens The floating islands of the level 82's archipelago appear to be completely covered in the ancient pyramid and labyrinthian temples made of a black stone that reflects the dark light of the black suns, eerily illuminating the islands like beacons in the gray expanse. There are currently six islands that have been documented by travelers who managed to escape the level, with a seventh island which has only been mentioned but never explored. These islands have come to be known as Vaginitera, characterized by vast labyrinthian temples bearing a resemblance to Hindu architecture. These temples make up the entirety of the island, and gravity is known to be reversed for the bottom levels of the temple. Individuals who spawn on the island will spawn deep within the temple, and may not even initially be aware of the black suns looming across the sky. While these temples have many windows, only four doorways are found on the outskirts of the island. If you manage to pass through one of the doorways to the temple, you will be transported to level 249. Tio Chichua, characterized by the vast temple complexes, interwoven into the mountains, which have a distinct Aztec design and architecture, albeit with modern elements sporadically integrated. Using any elevator within one of the Aztec skyscraper buildings will transport you to the sci-fi sector of level 184. However, in order to use these elevators, you will be prompted to make a blood sacrifice before you can press any buttons. Zhu Kong, characterized by a barren, mountainous terrain with very few structures placed in isolated, difficult-to-reach regions of the island. These structures will bear a resemblance to Buddhist shrines and be made completely out of stone. However, instead of statues of the Buddha on a pedestal, there will instead be warped humanoid shapes made of stones in their place. Beneath these shrines will be an entrance. If one chooses to pass through this entrance, they will enter a completely empty room momentarily, suddenly being transported to level 249. Babel, 
characterized by its vast, slum-like cities of buildings made of metal and wooden scraps that somehow remain stable and are able to rise into the sky like skyscrapers scattered across the surface of the island. Occasionally, these scraps of metal will have some sort of Arabic text or writing, suggesting they are of Middle Eastern origin. Graffiti has also been found on the walls of these makeshift buildings. Reaching the top of one of these buildings is the only way to exit this island. Upon reaching the top, you will be transported to the dark sector of level 184. Steroi, characterized by its resemblance to an asteroid in shape, except for being completely covered in closed windows of various shapes and sizes that lead into pitch black space inside. These windows seem to be impossible to open, however very rarely a window will shine with bright, piercing white light. These windows can be opened and passing through them will transport you to the bright sector of level 184. Xandros, characterized by a vast megalo... Why is Englishing so difficult? Megalopis, with buildings bearing an ancient Greek and ancient Egyptian architecture, except scaled up to the size of modern high-rising buildings. Reaching for the top of one of these buildings will transport you to the futuristic sector of level 184, and the unnamed island, characterized by the fact that no one who has ever spawned on the island has survived to tell the tale, leading others to question if anyone has ever spawned on the island in the first place. This island does not seem to reflect the light of the black suns, and so what lies on its surface mostly remains a mystery. This level's one of two entities is the Eclipser. The Eclipser is an 8 foot 4 inches humanoid monster that tricks wanderers into believing they must listen to it to find an exit from level 84. The Eclipser will constantly advise wanderers to perform the following tasks. Number 1. Jump off an island. The Eclipser says it will send you to level infinity, but it just teleports you back to the island you were on. Dig into the ground and find rocks. The Eclipser says performing this will take you to level 83, but it actually does nothing. Scream at the sky for more than three minutes. The Eclipser says this will take you to level 181, but it also does nothing. The Eclipser tells all travelers and encounters that dying on this level will simply take you to level 10. But again, nothing happens and you'll just die. If you ignore or fail to comply with the Eclipser's requests, it will begin to taunt you and challenge you to a brawl. If you win, you'll be sent to level 83, but if you lose, you will die. To date, only you and only two wanderers have managed to defeat the Eclipser, and none have been able to befriend or negotiate with it. It is also said the Eclipser devours the corpses of those it defeats, and those who have expired due to the immense heat. The Eclipser does not seem to be affected by this heat, and in fact seems to revel in watching others succumb to the smoldering sun. Here are some examples of taunts used by the Eclipser. Who are you praying to? Them! Man's defenders! They used to pray once long ago too, you know. And now their ruins are here with me. Why do you keep running from me? Do you think you can climb a ladder high enough that you reach God? Others have tried it, and look where it got them. The Black Suns the Black Sun is a single entity that can split into numerous black holes, masquerading as black stars, 
When this occurs, the black suns have the ability to raise the temperature of the level to above 5,000 degrees Celsius before returning to its baseline temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. This change in temperature will take place over the course of three days and is usually followed by two days of stable temperature. Before resuming the cycle all over again, very little, if anything, is known about these black suns. However, some have told the level's other entity, the Eclipser, that making comments that it would imply it knows more about the black sun than it lets on. A few of these comments include, I once knew a people who worship the sun. They thought their sacred flame could protect them from anything from me, so I took it from them. Who am I? Think of me as the Eclipser, the living eclipse that vanquished the sun. Colonies and Outposts Due to the intense heat, no colony or outposts have been established. Heat-resistant technology must advance significantly before this is possible. Entrances and Exits First Entrance Tripping into a volcano in level 81 Entering a manhole in level 691 Staying too long in the corrupted area in level 984 will send you here. And here are the exits. Defeating the Eclipser in a battle of Catch These Hands will take you to level 83. Entering entrances such as Trap Doors in the Houses of Babel will take you to level 75. Eating all of your rations before the level heats up will take you to level 4. And that's all the information we have on this floor so far. If you desire to know more about the coming floors, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so I know you want to hear more of this. Now, until next time, sleep tight, don't let the nightmares bite. I will see you all next time.